There are some questions on the Unit 3 review, so here we go. Jumping in, um, on 33, they gave you the point negative 4, 1, and they want it parallel to the line y equals negative 3 halves x minus 1, and they want it in standard form. All right, so because we want it parallel, re remember that means we need to have the same slope. So look at the line that they gave you. What's the slope of that line? Sorry, the slope is negative 3 halves, because remember, it's uh, in y equals mx plus b form, which is slope-intercept form. And the slope is the number in front of x. So if the slope has to be the same, the slope that we need, I'll try to do a different color, for our new line is negative 3 halves. And it has to go through the point, the one that they gave you, negative 4, 1. So now we're done with this li that line. We don't need that one anymore. All we needed was the slope from it. And so if they want it in standard form in class, remember we suggested you put these in point slope first. So it's going to be y minus 1 equals your slope, parenthesis, x minus a negative 4, so x plus 4. Standard form, remember, is ax plus by equals c. So I need to basically get x and y on the same side. So first I'm going to distribute in the negative 3 halves. And so negative 3 halves times 4, that's going to be negative 12 over 2, that's going to be negative 6. Okay? So now I'm going to add 3 halves to both sides, 3 halves x, sorry, because I want to get x and y on the same side. Okay, so I have 3 halves x plus y minus 1 equals, those cross out, negative 6. Again, you only want, I'm sorry, it's blurry, x and y on the same side. So you're going to add 1. So we get 3 halves x plus y equals negative 5. And this would be great, but remember in class we talked about how a, b, and c have to be integers. And again, we've done these in class, so we have to get rid of the 3 halves. We have to get rid of that 2. So like we talked about in class, you want to multiply by whatever that denominator is. So I'm going to multiply the whole equation by 2. 2 times 3 halves x is going to be, I apologize for this, I was trying to set up here, um, 3x, 2 times y is 2y, and 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Sorry about that too. There's my answer. Next one, 36. They gave you the point 5, negative 2, parallel to y equals negative 2 fifths x plus 2, and they wanted this one in slope-intercept. Okay, so again, all we need from this equation that they gave you is the slope. The slope here is negative 2 fifths. I should have done it in red. And then the point is 5, negative 2. Slope is the same. That's why the new slope I need is also negative 2 fifths. Slope intercept form. Here we go. Let's put it into point slope first. y minus a negative 2 equals my slope, parenthesis, x minus 5. Okay, so let's distribute that in. We get negative 2 fifths x. Negative 2 fifths times negative 5, that's going to be a positive 2. Remember, slope intercept is y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to subtract this 2 to bring it over, and I'm going to get y equals negative 2 fifths x, because 2 minus 2 is 0. There's your answer. Another one, I tried to do one of each form and then parallel and perpendicular to try to help this person who had the question. So 43, negative 3, 3, and it's perpendicular to that line, and they want it in point slope. So remember, this slope right here, you should tell me, is negative 6. Remember, to be perpendicular, they have to be opposite reciprocals. What does that mean? One has to be negative, one has to be positive, and then they have to be reciprocals of each other. So basically, the numerator and the denominator flip. So, first of all, if this is the slope of the line I gave you, what, we want it to be perpendicular. So what's the reciprocal of 6? Well, the reciprocal of 6 is 1 sixth, and then they have to be opposite. So if this one's negative, this one has to be positive. So our new slope is 1 sixth, and it has to go through the point negative 3, 3. So here we go. Point slope, we're old pros at this now. We're going to have y minus 3 equals 1 sixth parenthesis x minus a negative 3, x plus 3. And that's your answer because they wanted it in point slope.